Okay, uh, how are you guys? Uh, I would like to welcome you in the first session of our training. And the training will be on uh, Lean Six Sigma uh, Yellow Build. And uh, as many of you, uh, they have a little bit about, a uh, little knowledge about Six Sigma. Uh, Six Sigma, it's about uh, uh, methodology for problem solving, for uh, improving the production, improving uh, the performance for the employees. And Six Sigma is using for many types of improving and uh, continuous improve. So during this course, we will go deep uh, in Six Sigma, uh, not only Six Sigma, this is a lean Six Sigma and who knows what is the difference. And we will know how they combine each other because lean is uh, uh, different than Six Sigma. Uh, lean, it's uh, about management and Six Sigma, it's about uh, quality management. Um, this combined together give us a new, uh, uh, what we call it new methodology for a problem solving. So let us go. So. Let us start our, our training by, uh, by seeing the topics that we are going to address in this. Uh, uh, Brother, your voice is not loud. Oh, really? Yeah. So now it's okay with you? It's okay, guys? Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah, okay. So first we will see a uh, background about uh, six Sigma, Lean Six Sigma, and then we will go for the principle of Lean Six Sigma, and then we have the benefit of Lean Six Sigma, and then we have uh, the, uh, the builds of Lean Six Sigma, there is four builds, okay, and we will go also for the Lean uh, Six Sigma, uh, we call it uh, the MAC, uh, D-M-A-I-C, and we will see in details what is the map. And also we will uh, we will address the topic of Lean Six Sigma tools and techniques, because there is a tools and there is a technique uh, using by uh, Lean Six Sigma. So I will mute your microphone, okay? If you need it, you can, uh, you can open it. And we have uh, the expected result of uh, applying Six Sigma in your company. And we have six laws of uh, Lean Six Sigma. So there is a mathematical logs and accounting log, uh, laws for uh, calculating the Six Sigma level, because we have many level of uh, Six Sigma. So let us start by the background of Lean Six Sigma. And from where we start, and uh, what is the relation between Lean Six Sigma and, uh, sorry, Ben, between Six Sigma and between Lean Six Sigma? Lean is uh, management. Lean uh, management is coming from Toyota. Uh, Six Sigma, it's about quality uh, management and it's came from uh, Motorola. So we will see this combining of both they give us a new uh, born baby called Lean Six Sigma. So uh, what is the Six Sigma anyway and what is the Lean uh, Management? So let us start the journey of uh, Six Sigma first. And by addressing the Six Sigma, we need to mention the story of this uh, American businessman he called uh, Ball Galvin. So who is the Ball Galvin? Ball Galvin, actually he is a manufacturer, oh, sorry, he is a CEO and the founder of uh, Motorella. But before it's, it is uh, called Motorella, it is, was called uh, Galvin Manufacturing uh, Corporation. This is in 1928. So in that time, it has been called uh, Galvin Manufacturing Corporation. So after that, in 1947, it has been uh, renamed by name of uh, Motorola. 
as many of you know that Motorola is the leading uh, company in the cell phone or in the mobile manufacturing in the world. Actually, it's the oldest company uh, in the world of phones and uh, especially uh, cell phone and mobiles uh, and radio and another, uh, and another devices uh, that it used to be uh, Motorola is a leading and the first mobile uh, has been uh, manufacturing in uh, Motorola in 1973 by the chief uh, engineering he called uh, Martin Cooper. And, and there is another two names, two names we will, we will hear about uh, in the next slide. So basically in 19, before 1980, the Motorola was the first and the top selling uh, uh, mobile in the world. So once you are alone, you will, uh, we will conquer all the, all the market. So the, the, the whole market is used to be only for uh, Motorola. But in 1980, it started uh, the falling down of, uh, of Motorola. So in that time, the customer uh, start to walk away from uh, Motorola and walk away, go to the competitor. And that time, the competitor is the the Japanese companies. So in that time, the Japanese, they have a one, uh, uh, like one uh, school of management, uh, they call it, or they, uh, there is a movement or some target, they call it uh, Japanese magic. So the Japanese magic, they want to conquer all the uh, manufacturing for the devices, uh, especially electronic devices. And this is starting in 1980. So, uh, so uh, in that time, Motorola start losing the, uh, the market share and start losing uh, their quota in the, in the market because of the, of the customers they are uh, walking away from, uh, from Motorola and going to the Japanese uh, border. So this is caused a lot of pain for the, for the company and it's about to close. So this is need uh, immediate action from the CEO of the, uh, or the founder of the Motorola. So this is a, 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 a this is point. If you are not addressed immediately, you will lose your company and then you will lose your business. So uh, Paul Galvin start negotiation with the Japanese companies. So he can send a team from his side, they will go to Japan and make a uh, study and make comparison and learn about the new uh, technique for the Japanese uh, manufacturing. So he can, so he can, uh, uh, he can uh, fix a little bit what is happening in, in, in Motorella and to go back to the to the, to the market and uh, the Japanese competitor, they are not easy to convince them and to get from them a promise that they will allow you uh, to send this uh, technical team or technical committee. But uh, in the end of the day, he success uh, in that one. So he convinced the Japanese and he sent the technical committee uh, to Japan, uh, including uh, two names. One, he is, well, his name is Bill Smith, and Bill Smith, after a while, you will know this is the father of Six Sigma, and then is uh, uh, Michael Harry. So these two guys, they went to Japan and study uh, uh, about the Japanese manufacturing, the process they are using, the procedures, the, 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 the production line, how many, how many uh, items in the production line, what is the defect uh, uh, anyway, uh, what is the waste, how to control the waste, and how to control the defect. So they got all this information and, and, and came back 
to uh, mozzarella with the uh, with the some report so this report contains some uh, fats and uh, mozzarella need to do immediately to uh, to take action in regard to to at least to minimize the the consequence of uh, of this uh, what we call it uh, losing their uh, market share so the, the the result of the technical team report uh, that has been sent by Paul Galvin to Japan so mozzarella mozzarella uh, learned something from that the first is uh, the internal defect rate was very high inside the inside the mozzarella so he need to work on that one so mozzarella need to work on the defect rate because the defect rate it is very high they need to take immediate action to reduce the defect rate so they can go back to the market again and uh, another one or the second uh, there is a high rate of rework and repair because when you release a product and the customer receives the product, start the customer complain about the product. So he will return it back. This is what used to be at that time. So he will return it back and then uh, Motorella start rework again to, uh, uh, to fix that, uh, that defect or that errors. So this is, this is a rework that means uh, high cost and high cost uh, definitely it will, it will give you uh, low, low uh, benefit. So uh, the third, uh, the confidence was low because defects were transmitted to the customer even after uh, after of the uh, after the end of the inspection period. So they give an inspection period for the customer, but even after that, the customer coming back and complaining about the product. So in this case. There is there is an an an, an general uh, uh, general uh, I mean like uh, the customer uh, general feedback from the customer and they make analyze and and they came came up with the customer is not uh, is not satisfied and also the customer and screaming loudly so once the customer is screaming loudly that means there is a direct indication of is not satisfied and also the the one customer the they expected that he will take uh, he will take 10 customer uh, out of mozzarella with him so he will influence like minimum 10 customer he will go back and he will tell his neighbor don't go and buy from mozzarella so if one customer pull out 10 customer that means after after uh, after little time you will lose the whole of your customer. So this is this is very very dangerous uh, situation that Motorella used to face. So they have to take immediate action to to address that. So the result of this uh, large percent of of the customers uh, has been walk away, and the company uh, lose this customer to the to the competitors. Well, what they what 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 we know they are. Japanese uh, competitors. So this is need to take immediate action. So what is happening is Billy Smith and, and Michael Harry uh, work on this situation so they can develop a new methodology to solve what's the problem we, we just uh, mentioned. So they, they make a combining between a six uh, sigma and uh, before we call it Six Sigma, uh, there is, as we said, this is management uh, school and this is a, a quality school. So they combined the idea and they came up with the idea of the Lean Six Sigma. And Six Sigma itself, what we are, uh, what we are going to mention now, this is methodology for uh, Six Sigma to address the problem to solve the problem to reduce the defect and to increase the the, the, the profit so this is we call it the map the map it's a b for defining define means 
uh, to define the problem and form the team uh, to solve this problem. In the define, you will you will define and determine what is the problem you have exactly and describe it very well. And we will know in this course how to describe it because there is many steps uh, and many uh, uh, ways to describe the problem. So you have to, to, to describe your problem. You have to determine your problem, define your problem very well. And then you will go to the next step, which is the measure. measure you will measure uh, what is the, what is the effect that is happening to your company. So performing the test measuring the extent of the problem data and collect, uh, uh, the problem and collecting uh, collecting the data in regard to your uh, to your problem. And here also we will uh, we will we will do whatever uh, we will do what we call it. Uh, you will determine, as we mentioned, the defect and the impact that is happening in your uh, in your company. A for analyzing. Analyzing is find, finding the root cause. You will work hard. You will follow these steps uh, to get out what is the root cause for the problem. So whenever you have the root cause, and then in, in the next step, what we call it uh, improvement, now you will find the solution for the root cause that is coming in the in analyze space. And then you will apply it in the improve and then you will control it in the control uh, phase so this is this is what we call it the map the map means b for defining m for measure a for analyzing and i for uh, improve and c for uh, for controlling so we will go deep and deep in each uh, single phase of this uh, of this methodology and the map will be our journey during this training. So the whole training will be about this uh, uh, this uh, uh, methodology or this uh, uh, methodology of problem solving. Just we need to mention again, B for defining, defining the problem, uh, M for measure, measure the effect that is happening uh, to your company. A for analyzing, analyzing by, by, by finding and getting the root cause uh, of the problem. So once you have the root cause, you will work and finding solution in the improve phase. Um, in the control phase, you will control uh, the solution. You will control the, the result that you achieved. So you cannot go back to the, to the start point. So uh, this is a, a we call it an effective tool for solving uh, the problem that we will uh, we will know it as five stage of six sigma. So this is called uh, a five stage of six sigma. So if someone asks you what is the five stage of six sigma, uh, immediately you have to tell him this is the DAMAC. D define M measure A analyze I improve and see for uh, control. And we will go deeply, deeply uh, in the details uh, later on. So uh, what is uh, and where is the start of the lean uh, management? So lean management actually, it's coming from uh, Toyota. We said uh, Six Sigma is coming from Motorola and lean is coming from uh, Toyota. So there is a three uh, elements or three concepts of, uh, of lean management. The first one is delivering the value uh, from your customer perspective, uh, reducing the waste and continuously improving the process. So this is the three, three uh, main uh, elements of Lean Six Sigma, uh, sorry for the lean uh, management, uh, delivering the value or delivering value from your customer perspective, which means you will take the feedback from your customer. And what the customer expected from you, you have to achieve it. So the, the, the Lean Six Sigma is all about satisfy, uh, satisfying the customer. So this is, it has to be your main target uh, during the project of, of, of Six Sigma. 
because the project of this sigma is not uh, it's not a small project. Uh, we will know this later, but just we, to mention it here, it is very big a project, and the project will take from 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 six months to one year to finish the project, because you are going to restructuring uh, the the procedure, restructuring the process. So so you will develop all this. Uh, uh, all this thing to just uh, satisfy your customer. So the start point, it has to be from the customer. What the customer need so that you can take their feedback and you can develop your product based on their requirement and based on their, uh, on their need. So in the same time, you have to reduce the waste. So we will, we will know uh, right now, reducing the waste, this is the main concept of lean management. So the main concept of lean management is reducing the waste. So lean management working on reducing the waste. Six Sigma working on uh, process improvement. So this is this is the two uh, information we have we have to, to know it right now. Uh, and this is it will be in the exam uh, definitely. Lean management working on uh, reducing waste and controlling the waste. Okay. And also continuous improve for the process. And this is also for the six sigma. Six, uh, uh, six sigma also improving the, uh, the process. We will know later on there is a two type of, of improving and we will know many details. So, uh, what is the four uh, elements of uh, lean? So we have something called uh, bull. So bull means there is no big production in the line without demand or without any customer waiting for this uh, product. Again, bull means you will not manufacture, you will not start your your production unless there is a customer waiting for this uh, for this product if you are in a manufacturing uh, industry if you are in in sales or commercial industry don't buy items don't buy any product until you uh, sure 100 percent there is a customer willing to buy this product okay and during 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 this uh, course we will know many techniques how to uh, how to do it how to how to manufacturing based on the customer need. So in this case, if you if you follow this case, you will reduce uh, the waste because more production that means more waste, more uh, importing or more uh, 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 requesting a product from the supplier. That means you will you will have more waste, more time the waste, and there is a many type of waste we will see right now. Okay. So don't buy any product unless there is a customer is waiting to, 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 to buy from you. Don't manufacture any process, any, any product unless there is a demand and there is a customer waiting for that product. This is what we call it bull in the lean uh, uh, management. So the second we have one piece flow. One piece flow means one product in the production line. So if you have a many product, uh, many product, so just keep one product in the production line, okay? And uh, on that time you can focus and reduce the waste during this product uh, only. So once you have one product, just finish manufacturing for this product, and then you can go for the next one. So don't don't put uh, like two products in one line. So that means you will have more waste and less focusing and less uh, uh, controlling. So the lean management, they will tell you, no need to go for uh, too many products in one, in, one, uh, in one time. Okay, so uh, again, for Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nawaz, he's asking, what is the waste? Uh, just, we will mention what is the waste in the next uh, slide. We will go deeply and, and we have, a type of waste we will tell you in the next slides okay uh, now we have uh, this uh, three uh, four elements of lean management we said there is a bull 
and there is a one piece flow means one piece flow means mat one production in the uh, one product in the production line and sure there is uh, you have to take care of the first one this product should be there is a customer uh, waiting for this product okay uh third we have something called tact uh tact means adjusting the time uh to the customer need so there is no big order unless there is a customer uh, waiting this is what we said if you have a big big order in that time you have to speed up and uh, increase the speed of of the production you have a small order that means you need to speed down uh, the production uh, uh, the production uh, process so this is what we call it uh, uh, tact tact means big order increasing production less order or small order uh, speed down the uh, the process this is what 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 we call it tact okay zero defect zero defect means uh, we mentioned in the in the in the one piece flow in the one piece flow when you have one one only uh, product in the line so zero defect they will tell you this one product you can focus more in this product and remove the defect until you reach the zero defect but if you have more product in the line more than three products for, for for example there is manufacturing uh, one uh, uh, one factory and this factory is producing for example uh, safety shoes coverall and jacket so if you have these three three items in the production line uh, together manufacturing in the same time you will lose control and you will not focus until you reach the zero defect so the lean will tell you make it one in the line so instead of three items or three production in one line make it one first finish from the shoes until you finish the shoes then come for the uh, for example for the uh, uh, what we what we said uh, coverall and then when you finish the coverall go for the jacket so by this technique you will focus and remove the defect until you reach the zero defect in your uh, product. So this is, we have uh, uh, in, in, in lean, we have a type of, uh, of waste. As we mentioned uh, earlier, we said lean are focusing on the uh, eliminating the waste. Lean are focusing on the controlling the waste. Six Sigma working on the area of uh, improving the process and improving the, uh, the procedure and continually improving. So the lean, uh, as we mentioned, is developed by Toyota. Okay. And in fact, the good describe it. What is the, what is the lean? Set of tools identifies the element of waste. Of waste. Let's take care of this slide. This is it will be in the exam definitely. What is the lean about? It's a set of tools that will help you to identify and eliminate the waste, which is controlling the waste. So, what is the waste and what is the type of waste? So, this is we will we will know it right now. There is the eight type of waste. Okay, and they call it Tim Wood. Yes, this is this is the first term in this. Uh, in this training, we call it team mode. Team mode is a stand for a type of waste. We will know it in details uh, right now. Okay, let's go. So, what is the type of waste? What is the team mode? Team mode. We have uh, we have a transportation. Transportation means uh, uh, the necessity to to transfer the data from one location to another location. What means is, uh, for example, to move item from one location to another location. If it is required, just move it. If it is not required, don't move it. 
because you will waste your time on and transportation you will waste the time uh, on delivery so for example if you have two delivery two delivery in the same location get it to get it to uh, one time so don't don't go for deliver the first and then come back take the next so this is this is unnecessary this is what we call it was uh, waste during the uh, transportation so what is the waste uh, uh, what uh, the first type of waste is trans transportation means transfer transfer whatever it is uh, items whatever is information whatever it is uh, hard copy of of, uh, of of paper whatever if you have a necessary to move it just do it if it is not necessary just keep it don't do it so this is the first type of waste we have the second type of waste called uh inventory inventory means uh this should know should know any work inside inside the production line without customer awaiting so work building in process this is a lot this is a, a loss or waste of time so don't put any any production in the line unless there is a customer uh, waiting for that uh, production this is it will lead to you will make another historic lo uh, uh, location to store this this product but if there is a customer waiting for this product you will not lose any 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 waste mean here waste here is wasting the space for storage so if you are if you are uh, uh, producing uh, one or two items and there is no any customer waiting for this item what you will do after you finish the the, uh, the producing you will move it to the store so just you move it to the store that means you have more more uh, more waste because you need you need the labor on that uh, store you need the uh, uh, electricity you need rent this is all it will come in your head so don't waste your time don't waste your money don't waste uh, your space uh, by by producing the product and there is no customer waiting for that product so this is what we mean by by inventory here we mentioned it earlier uh, there is no any production don't put any production don't start any uh, production process unless you have a customer waiting for that uh, a brother so don't buy any product from outside if you are a commercial like our company don't buy a product unless you know 100 percent there is a customer is waiting for that uh, product because if you do so it will it will increase your uh, your cost and then it will lead you to less uh, less uh, less profit so this is why we call it inventory the second we call it uh, motion motion means walking capturing brain go from the first corridor to the last corridor just to pick up the paper so this is uh, this is we call it uh, mo uh, motion any type of motion of motion that it will lead to waste your time waste your energy so don't move keep everything in the in the workplace this is we will know it better we call it uh, uh, housekeeping this is later we will know it uh, housekeeping means keep everything uh, in the workplace keep only the necessary thing in the workplace so so this is we can also uh, use the same for the motion uh, motion means movement uh, whether you move by by car whether you move by uh, by walking uh, capturing brain and getting getting something from another location so there is a type of waste uh, during your uh, movement this is what we call it uh, motion uh, number four we have the waiting uh, waiting means uh, waiting for approval waiting for any information waiting for permission to uh, to move waiting for uh, there is there is many many paperwork so this is this is also we call it uh, one type of of the waste waiting also wasting the time wasting the energy because the time is equal to money the money is cost so once you lose uh or you lost lost your time on the way in that means you are losing some of your profit so 
what you need to do, you need to make your process and procedure very simple. And this is, we will know during this course how we, how we do it technically. So this is one type of waste, uh, we call it uh, waiting. Also, we have over overproduction. Overproduction, it can be in the manufacturing, uh, as we mentioned in the, in the inventory, don't put more uh, product in the line until you know there is a customer is waiting. This is if you are, if you are in the manufacturing uh, industry. Also overproduction, it can be um, calling many people for, for the meeting and you need only one or two from them. So one or two people, if you, if you invite them, you can solve the problem you are facing or the, the course of the, of the meeting, you can finish it with these two or three people. So why you are calling and inviting more than one, uh, one or two or three, uh, five people. So this is also over, over production. So if printing more papers, if you have, uh, if you are, uh, if you are need paper, just print it, print, print the amount you need. So there is some people they are printing their emails, whatever the email they are receiving, they are printing. So keep it soft copy. So soft copy is better. You will save uh, space and uh, you will save paper and, and then paper equal to, to money. So this is also one type of, uh, of the waste, what we call it uh, overproduction. Uh, we have also over, over processing. Over processing, like unnecessary report, or there is many details in the report that is not necessary. Uh, it is useless. So the, 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 your, your, management, your um, direct manager asks you for a report. He needs to know some details. So just go for the purpose of this, this report. Don't include many details, wasting your time, designing, wasting your time, collecting the information about the report, wasting your time on, on going and back to your, to, your, to your manager. So in the end, he will take 10% of the whole of your, your, uh, your report because it's, for him it's not necessary. For him it's not uh, uh, that much of, uh, of importance. So just go for, uh, for the less as much as you could. This is what we call it over processing. Also over processing, uh, as we mentioned, don't make your process and procedure very complex. Make it very easy so you can uh, accelerate the, the process for selling, for production, for, uh, for whatever. So this is, this is the number six. Uh, number seven is a defect. Defect, uh, anything that require rework or, re, uh, or uh, require a correction or reformulation. Uh, for example, uh, delivering the item or wrong item to the customer. So before you go and deliver the, the, the item for the customer, you should have a checkpoint. You should have a checklist either with the customer name, customer number, uh, the product, where is the DO, uh, coordinate with the, sales, with the salesman so he can give you the information about the SIV, the correct sales, uh, sales, uh, sales number, the correct invoice. So this is, this is, if you have it in process, you will reduce the defect of the, of the, of the delivery. Uh, and as we said, the defect needs rework. If you deliver wrong material to the customer, what is it happening? The customer, he will call you, uh, please come again and take your material because this is the wrong material. I order 103 and you deliver 104. So come back and take it. You will go take it back and re-deliver again. So this is what we call it, uh, defect. Uh, number eight, and this is the final uh, type of the waste in the team wood. We call it skills. Skills means uh, means a human. Means uh, you should have a professional staff and accurate management. Uh, what we call it, uh, the right man in the right place. So, if you hire a manager with with the top skills and you give him uh, the work of supervision, so that means a lower level. So you will waste the skills. 
he's a he's a higher so he's he's a high level of, of management but you will give him uh, work for the for the supervisor and, and 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 this this position you can hire less level he can do it so this is we call it waste because the the work he is doing is less than his skills he can give you more in another place so this is also we call it uh, the waste in the in the skill in the skills and this is what we call it the time uh, the, the eight type of uh, of the waste according to the lean uh, concept or lean management concept we call it uh, team wood so team wood t is, t is a stand for uh, transportation i is for inventory m for motion w for waiting and the first o for over production the second o for over processing the d for defect and the s for for skills so this is what we call it uh, team modes and this is a, a air type of waste according to the lean uh, management or lean uh, methodology so this is uh, the background has been finished and then we will go to the uh, principle of lean six so here here now we have uh, lean six sigma what we mentioned earlier we mentioned six sigma uh, separate and then we mentioned lean separate but after this slide after this picture we will go on our course which is uh, lean six sigma so lean six sigma it's about we will take the best thing in lean and the best thing in uh, six sigma we will combine it together and we will have a new baby born called lean six sigma so lean six sigma is very powerful uh, a very effective uh, problem solving methodology um, and it's uh, it's about uh, process uh, improvement methodology uh, focusing on the on the on the on the process improving the work condition and eliminating the waste and uh, as we mentioned this is the best of lean and the best of uh, six sigma so as we mentioned six sigma is working on the process uh, continuous improvement and lean working on the waste management so now we will have the lean uh, lean uh, six sigma that means we'll have a combine of uh, eliminating the waste reducing the waste controlling the waste and in the same times working on uh, improving the process and improving the procedure for the for your company so uh, as we mentioned six sigma it's or lean six sigma it's about uh, uh, improvement methodology eliminating the problem removing the waste and uh, increasing the efficiency and improving the work uh, condition so this is the lean uh, six sigma so what is the lean six sigma uh, it's about uh, process improvement methodology as we mentioned and it has been designed uh, to eliminate the problem errors and defects and this is we take we take it from where guys this is what we take it from the link and improving war or working condition are reducing the variation this is the first time we hear about the variation yes remember this because we have a law called uh, or working on the variation because we have many types of variation so what we mentioned right now, there is this is six sigma has been uh, lean six sigma has been designed to eliminate the problem, okay, eliminate the error and eliminating the defect. And this is from where we take it, and this is we take it from lean. Okay, guys. In the left, we have improving the work condition and reducing the variation, and this is we take it from where? This is we take it from the six sigma. So, so this is now we have the combining uh, methodology. Uh, we call it uh, lean uh, six sigma. Also, removing the waste and efficiency. Also, we take it from uh, uh, six sigma. So we 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 took we took 
two points from uh, six sigma, we took one point from uh, from the lean manually. So in the end, uh, what what is the what is the main target of the lean six sigma? What is the main uh, uh, shipment? Provides a better response to the customer need. This is what we mentioned in the beginning. You have to take care of your customer. You have to take the feedback from your customer so you can uh, make your production based on their need, based on their uh, specification and requirement. So this is uh, this is the main concept and the main uh, focusing point in Lean uh, Six Sigma. So Lean Six Sigma basically is uh, about uh, providing the better response to the customer need. And in the end, you have to satisfy your customer. And once you did that, that means you will have uh, uh, more profit and less uh, less cost. And let us go here. Uh, who will apply this uh, Sys Sigma? Sys Sigma apply to who? Or in which, in which field we will apply Sys Sigma? In which uh, uh, department? Now we have uh, in our company more than six departments. So which one uh, supposed to use the six sigma? The answer is six sigma is applied to any kind of industry, not only departments. Any type of industry uh, you can apply six sigma for, and we will know that in details uh, in the coming uh, uh, days. So lean six sigma it can be applied to HR. Also, it can be applied to uh, administration, the finance, sales, uh, operation, uh, production, uh, purchasing, IT, uh, maintenance, uh, supply chain. So all this uh, department or all this section, uh, we can apply Six Sigma for, uh, for to improvement, to eliminate the waste, and to control the waste. So Lean Six Sigma is applied to any uh, department you have it in your uh, in your company six sigma is not only for production because many of the people make the wrong the, this six sigma is for only production no six sigma for hotels uh, there is many hotels around the, the world that are using six sigma there is uh, six sigma for uh, for the hospitals if you go any uh, if you search in YouTube about any uh, example of uh, Six Sigma project, you will find there is many uh, hospitals are using Six Sigma to increase their profit and to uh, eliminate the waste and controlling uh, the defect. So uh, not only production is using Six Sigma. Six Sigma is applied to all the, uh, the department. So, uh, here we have uh, three elements of uh, Six Sigma, and uh, we have uh, something called uh, tools and technique. So what is the tools and technique? So tools and technique, there is a some equation and uh, arithmetic uh, operation we will do it during this course. So uh, uh, Six Sigma, it's about uh, calculation because we will know first when you start your project for Six Sigma, when you go to the, to the company and before you start your project, you need to determine the Six Sigma level in the current situation. So in order to, to determine and calculate the Six Sigma uh, level, you have to use uh, these tools and technique and these tools and technique we will we will teach you how to use it and we will teach you that uh, some types of, of technique and as we mentioned there is a law for uh, for six sigma there is a arithmetic operation we will do it and uh, we will apply uh, data analysis so you can determine and uh, uh, and put the six sigma level for for the company before you start your body because when you come to the company or the, the 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 hotel or whatever hospital whatever they will call you come we need to apply six sigma project in our company okay once you sign the agreement with them 
you have to start first before you're doing everything to determine what is the six sigma living for them. Either it is a one or two or four or three or six. Definitely it will not be six. Definitely it will not be five or four. If it's a six or five or four, they will not call you for six sigma. If any company applies a six sigma uh, in, in their company, uh, uh, they will they will tell you their uh, sigma level from the first time. If it's not, that means definitely they are in the in the first or in the second. So so what you need to do basically is calculating the six sigma level. For example, after you calculate in the six sigma level, you found that the six sigma level for this company is uh, two sigma. Okay, and then you need to work during the course of your project until you reach six sigma so this is space it will take minimum minimum from from six to eight to one year uh, working uh, working days so it's, six sigma is not an easy uh, project to do it's not something uh, theoretical so there is there is a mathematical equation you will do it and there is a calculation you will do it and this is we call it uh tools and technique and these tools and technique we will provide you to use it in order to to calculate the six sigma uh, level uh, second we have a process and methodology so uh there is a sec uh, sequential system uh as we mentioned uh we mentioned that the map if you if you just remember it's a sequential system uh of five steps so you will follow to improve your six sigma number. So we, we mentioned the math. We said B, uh, M, A, I, and C. This is a sequential steps, sequential system you will go through one by one, one by one in order to improve and reach your target. Was it whatever your target is five sigma or your target is uh, four sigma or six sigma. We will know the difference uh, in the next slides. So process and methodology. This is what we this is what we means by process and, and methodology. Uh, series of phases. What we call it the math the math phases. Uh, you will go through in order to solve your problem. So in order to solve your problem, you have to use the tools uh, and technique. Uh, what we mentioned here. So the process and methodology, this is the process you will follow. Uh, sequential process you will follow. Five steps you will follow until you get uh, the number that you are desired to get, whatever six sigma or four six sigma, okay? In order to use the process and methodology, you need tools and techniques. So also after you finish your project, you came to this company, you enter from the door to this company, you make your uh, uh, calculation for the six sigma level. You found that this company is still in the two six sigma level. You work for uh, six months, eight months, one year, and then you increase the level from two to six sigma level. So now this company, six sigma level, you finish your job and then you will leave. No, don't leave. Don't leave until you have the mindset and culture you have to ensure the mindset of the culture of continuous improvement has been uh, adopted in this company if you just walk away after this five or six or whatever uh, eight months is the time you go after one month or two, three months they will go back to the start point means they will go back to the two uh, sigma level so in, in Six Sigma, uh, they will tell you, no, you have to use tools and technique, and you have to use uh, uh, process and methodology. And also you have to take care about the mindset and the culture of the continuous improvement. And these three elements reinforce each other. What means reinforce each other? It's each one depends on the on the other one. So if you take one one from these three, 
you cannot work with the two. If you don't have, if you don't have tools and technique, you cannot go with the process and methodology. If you don't have process and methodology and you have only culture and you have only tools, you miss a lot. So you should have these three together, three together. No one you should miss. You should have tools and technique, we will provide you. You should have process and methodology and you should have the mindset and culture uh, and to ensure this uh, culture of, uh, of continuous improve has been adopted in the company. This is you have to ensure it before you go. And this is we will know it in the, in the, in the, in the last phase, control phase. Uh, we will not in details, uh, mindset and culture. Okay, okay. Now uh, let's go for the, uh, for the principle of Lean uh, Six Sigma. So basically Lean Six Sigma are focusing on the real uh, world problem because there is, uh, there is many, many problem in the, in the production uh, around the globe. Uh, solving uh, also the employees' uh, performance. This is also has been a problem in the in the world, and not only uh, in the Middle East or Asia. No, this is a problem in the in the whole world. There is a problem in the production, and there is a problem on increasing the the uh, the employees' performance. So six sigma it will give you it will give you the tools. It will give you the technique. It will give you the methodology for uh, for uh, problem for uh, uh, solving the real problems that the the world uh, is facing. Okay. Uh, the second principle is team analysis. So the uh, the team analysis, uh, for example, uh, in Lean Six Sigma, we will teach you how to reform a team because there is a, there is a special technique. Uh, in Lean Six Sigma, how to uh, form a team uh, in order to solve the problem and in order to get the root cause of the problem. So there is a, there is as many steps you have to follow in order to uh, to form the team, and also there is a there is a, a, a like methodology for for uh, evaluating the team uh, performance, and this is it will be on on percentage. So you will know this team, the efficiency of this team, this uh, number of percentage, 20, 30, 60, 80 percent. So also Lean Six Sigma is focusing on uh, on this one, and this is considered as one of the uh, Six Sigma Lean Six Sigma uh, principles. Also process focusing and uh, analyzing. Process focusing, uh, analyzing, and uh, separated uh, the procedure one by one. So if you have a long procedure, you have a bunch of procedure, bunch of process, the Lean Six Sigma will tell you, you have to divide it uh, to a small part. And then we have something called a non-added value. So non-added value, we have to remove it from the process. Uh, or this is, this is some steps uh, uh, not necessary. Some steps are not uh, uh, required in the, to be in the, uh, inside the process, it will make a delay. It will make more more waiting time, and we know also this is a, this is considered as a waste, uh, as we mentioned in the time modes. Uh, so in the team modes, the same uh, uh, eight type of waste. So the process analyzing what 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 we means by uh, separating the process and the procedure to small uh, steps. And that can be uh, structuring in the in the better way. So we will we will also will learn you how to uh, how to divide the process and how even to uh, to make the process. Uh, there, there is a uh, like three or four steps to make the process map. How we, we call it the the flow chart. So we will know it uh, in detail. So this is one of the uh, lean six sigma uh, principles. Also, we have data-based uh, analysis. Uh, what means the Six Sigma uh, project is about the data. If you have wrong data and you start uh, 
analyzing the wrong data, this is will lead you to different direction and would lead to a project failure. So the whole of your project is based on data and based on analyzing uh, analyzing this uh, data. So the main reason, the main reason for the project success is the correct data you will use it during the uh, during the, 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 the project. You will you will determine determine where to take your uh, your data from. Either you will take it from the direct from the customer. We will know there is a two type of customer. Uh, we have a two type of customer. Which one you will take, and which one you will consider, and which one you will take the hyper unit. So this is all the data uh, you will collect it either from the customer internally or external. And you will go through many steps, through many techniques, through many ways of analyzing this, this data. So this is uh, one, one principle of uh, Lean Six Sigma. It's about uh, the data is uh, or the based on analyze. Uh, your project is depends on the data you will, will analyze, uh, the data you will work for. And uh, later on, we will know uh, there is a two type of data. I don't want to bother you right now. We will see it in the next uh, slide. Uh, also, in back of the of the process, uh, six sigma. So, uh, as we mentioned, you need to digitally count the uh, six sigma level before you start. So you can have the impact of your process uh, after you finish the six sigma project. So this is very important. So how you will know the impact if you if you just uh, came from the door uh, of the company and immediately start uh, restructuring the process, work on the procedure, uh, eliminating the waste, uh, 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 work on the customer feedback, analyzing the data, and in the in the end you came uh, to the management and you submit your report and you submit this is now I I, I reach the six sigma level. So definitely will ask you from which point you start, from which level. So you will go back six months and calculate? No, nothing, because you already work on the process. So the 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 the, the impact of six sigma has to be calculating the first day of your uh, of your present in the in the company. You have to calculate the current six sigma level, and then after you finish. Uh, calculate also the last six, six, uh, six sigma level you reach, and then you can know what is the impact that have been uh, to the company. Uh, and the last we have, we're dealing with the root cause. So this is one principle of the six sigma. We are dealing with the root cause. We are not dealing with the problem. And this is, we will know it in the first uh, law. We have, uh, we have law called Y, Y equal, F times X. So we are dealing only with the root cause. We are not dealing with the problem with the root cause here X. So this is we know it later. Don't bother yourself. So one of the say lean six sigma principle is dealing with the root cause. We are dealing with the root cause. What is the cause of this problem? Because once you are once you are solved the, the, the root cause. Definitely, the problem it will solve. Uh, it will solve by 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 default. So no need to work on the problem. Just what you need to work is work on the root cause. Uh, finally, we have a blind control system. Control system means uh, setting a system to ensure that the, the 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 process you did and the culture you have uh, you have put in this company. They will not go back to the start point, as we mentioned uh, earlier. We will put a control system. This is we'll we'll, we'll see it in the final uh, final step uh, in the in the in the five steps of six sigma. It's a control. So in the control, we have a tool. Uh, we have more than uh, six or seven tools. Uh, you will use it for as a control system to keep your data between. Uh, between the two lines, not up, not down. It has to be in the middle. So this one, 
uh, you have to go through many steps in order to reach this uh, this point. What means here applying the control system uh, means uh, to ensure that the, the, this company, after you finish the product, they will not go back to the start point. So you need to control and you need to apply a, a, a certain system. So you will uh, you will ensure that uh, the continuous improvement has been uh, adopted. Okay, okay. Uh, the third, we have the benefit of uh, Lean Six Sigma. Okay, so there is uh, three types of benefit of Lean Six Sigma. We have organizational benefit. Um, this is very important uh, because uh, before we go that uh, in deeply, uh, as many of you that have know, there is uh, uh, four elements of uh, management. Okay, we have a planning, organization, or organizing, uh, leadership, and we have uh, control. So this is four uh, elements of four principles of management in any in any uh, in any type of uh, industries uh, any anywhere. So the first benefit of Lean Six Sigma it will give you organizational benefit. Uh, what means the internal organization or internal company procedure and process it will be improved you will reduce the quest and you will increase uh, the, the, the profit by uh, reducing the cost so if you if you follow these steps uh, the five steps of, of, of problem solving this is it will lead uh, or it will move the company from point to, a, to another point it will move the company from for example to to uh, to uh, six sigma level to six sigma level and one six sigma level believe me this is a huge huge impact and there is a big big difference uh, we will know it uh, if, if the company in two six sigma we have we have an uh, example for uh, for airline i hope we can have the time if not we will uh, discuss tomorrow uh, we will know the benefit of uh, for the organization for applying six sigma it will move you uh, from one from one point to another point it will uh, it will reduce the cost uh, by eliminating some problem by restructuring the process and and the procedure and this is what we mean by organizational benefit and also there is the personal benefit personal benefit uh, we will give you the tools of problem solving so once you finish the the the, the uh, yellow bill before you go to the to the green you will have the tools and the technique for the problem solving whatever the size of the problem whatever the type of the problem you are facing uh, whether in, in in your company whether in your uh, outside of the company in your personal life uh, you will have the tools and technique uh, to solve any kind of problem so this is the this is will, will will lead you to the top, and this is will will move will move you from uh, from ordinary to uh, to give you the the skills of the leadership. So you will have the leader leadership skills uh, by uh, uh, applying uh, the six sigma project in your company. This is it will lead to organizational benefit, and also there is a, uh, as we mentioned personal uh, benefit. And uh, also, it will give you uh, high priority in the in the hiring. If you go to or to any company and you put in your CV one of the six sigma bill, you will have the priority, the first priority. So this is this is we call it a personal ability. Also, we have uh, industry industries and jobs that are using six sigma. As we mentioned also, I mean we mentioned earlier. Uh, Six Sigma is solving the the the, the world problem. So uh, there is no, as we mentioned, there is no any industry in this world uh, not using Six Sigma. Never. You can Google it, 
and you can uh, get the result of there is no any big uh, company in this world they are not using or they are not applying uh, six sigma start from tesla go through microsoft go through google go through uh, uh, toyota mercedes uh, bmw this all amazon by by, uh, by the way also all these uh, companies they are using and they are applying the six sigma uh, methodology inside their uh, in their companies and not only this one uh, for example google they have requirement to hire a, a management level so if you are applying for a job in, in, in uh, google or some some kind of of, uh, of companies they will request request you to have a six sigma green belt if you if you are going to apply for management level you are going to apply for the uh, uh, supervision uh, level they will ask you for minimum minimum yellow belt uh, uh, certificate so this is this is what we call it industry uh, industry is a benefit and personal benefit and organizational uh, benefit this we call it benefit of lean uh, six sigma so we are here now benefit of six sigma now we will go to uh, uh, lean six sigma build and we hope we hope we will finish with this and the law of six sigma will keep it to the next uh, to the tomorrow inshallah okay this is very important we have uh, this is the levels of six sigma build it's a six, but it is five. What that means? Okay. The yellow build, uh, sorry, the, the white build is about if you go uh, Google or YouTube and watch one uh, one video or you read one article about about Six Sigma, then you are uh, yellow build. Just some information. Get some information about. Uh, Six Sigma, understanding the basics of Six Sigma, some concept about Six Sigma, attending awareness uh, about Six Sigma, googling about Six Sigma. Uh, this is this is you will consider as a, as a white belt. So the white belt, part of local problem uh, and solving uh, small small problem. Uh, what means local local problem? That means the white belt he is not a member of uh, six sigma project because he don't have the the knowledge you don't have the, uh, the 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 concept the whole concept of of six sigma so he cannot be uh, part of uh, six sigma project and he cannot participate in that uh, six sigma project uh, so as as we mentioned uh if you google if you know any information uh if you attend any awareness about uh, six sigma uh done you are white belt. the actual build is start from the from the yellow here what we are uh training now this is uh this is the main of our training right now uh this is the yellow build also we call it the first build in the uh lean six sigma build he is a team uh, he is a team uh, member smart participating uh and, and be uh, as a member in the, in the lean uh, six sigma project and the main uh uh i mean like uh the main thing he is doing is uh, collecting the data so in this in this phase or in this uh, in this uh, stage, you only collecting the data. Who will analyze the data? The green and the black they will analyze the data. But your mission and your uh, uh, job here only collecting the data, reviewing the process and do some uh, improvement and support for the whole whole project. This is uh, this is the job and this is the mission for the. Uh, for the yellow belt. So now you as a yellow belt, you are collecting the data and passing the data to the green and the green who will analyze the data. 
So the second one is the green. The green actually uh, leading Six Sigma uh, green belt project. So there is the two kind of uh, or three kind of uh, Six Sigma project. There is a, a small small size of the project, and this is we call it green uh, green uh, Six Sigma uh, project. Green by by uh, who is leading? Who is the the green belt is leading this uh, this project? And also we call it project uh, assignment. This is what we, this is what uh, exclusive for the green belt. Uh, he has assessing, analyzing, and also collecting the data. Okay, and coaching, coaching who? Coaching the yellow belt. For example, now I am green. Now I have the green certificate. Now I'm coaching you as a as a, uh, as a uh, uh, yellow belt, okay? In order I move, in order if I want to move from green to black, I need a black to coach me, to teach me about the green. And this is what we did. If you need black, you want to move from black to the master black, you need the master black to teach you, and, and so on. So the, so the green, we said he meant, uh, he leading his own project which is a small project. Uh, if the project size, I give you, I will give you a number. Uh, for example, Six Sigma project, the small project is about five to $10 million. You get my point? Six Sigma project is when the company start falling down, start enter the bankruptcy, they will call for the for the expert in uh, lean six sigma come and apply project uh, six sigma for us and this these two guys with the help of this guy they can move the company from losing 50 million dollars to earning something which means they will move you from bankrupt to stability this is a Six Sigma project. Six Sigma project is not a symbol. It's not uh, uh, 10,000 or uh, 3,000 uh, real, no. Six Sigma is about million of dollars. Six Sigma is about bring, bringing the life for dead companies. Uh, for example, uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, uh, if, you, if you don't know him, he is, I think, is the number six or number five in the top ranking of the richest uh in the in the world you have elon musk you have bill gates or uh, or uh, chief bezos and then you will have warren buffett warren buffett he used to buy the companies the small companies that is near to death so he will apply six sigma and he will get uh, another shape of the, the same company but is another shape which is earning money and getting more more growth. so this is just uh one sample and different between green uh, green project, what we call project assignment, and the big project for the six sigma. So we have uh, uh, the belt number three. We have the black, and the black he is leading the complete six sigma uh, six sigma project, and he is leading the very big uh, very big project. As we mentioned, company company uh, lost. For example, fifty million dollars. They will call the black with the help of Master Black. Champions is very rare, but these two guys they can move the company from losing fifty million dollar to to profit. So this is uh, this is one impact of the Six Sigma uh, or applying Six Sigma. Also, he is conducting training and participating and coaching the coaching the teams, whatever is the green or yellow. The Master Black coaching the green and uh, and uh, and the black okay and developing uh, the matrix the strategy uh, for the company and act uh, as an organization uh, six sigma uh, consultant this is the black uh, master black the champion this is uh, he is the one who is putting the vision and the mission and the goal for the whole of the organization developing the plans, redeveloping the plans, uh, identifying the source and, and, and removing the, the roadblocks. 
So this is this is basically it's a it's a six sigma uh, five build. We said the six, but it's a five because of the white. Uh, is, there is no certificate for the white. There is no uh, examination for the white. And uh, basically, we have five uh, five uh, levels of five uh, uh, six sigma uh, build. So as we mentioned, uh, the sigma uh, budget and how we will how we will combine and uh, forming the team how many uh, master black should be in the, in the in the project how many black should be how many green how many uh, yellow should be in the same project this is we will work uh, uh, later on the whole concept from these slides is uh, why we are applying six sigma why we need the uh, six sigma uh, basically, we need to solve our problem. We need to increase our level. We need to reduce our waste, controlling our waste. We need to reduce the level performance of our employees. And also, we need to earn or getting more customer. And also, we need to protect ourselves ourselves from losing uh, a potential customer. And also, the main target is. Uh, to increase your your profit. So if you need all what I mentioned, so better to start applying six sigma in your in your company. Okay, guys. So we have. Uh, I hope we have five minutes. We will finish inshallah. Just we will mention uh, the demand. Uh, we will we we already talk about the demand and we will go for uh, six uh, laws and techniques but uh, uh we will we will not go in details we will just mention okay uh, this is again the map we said d for define me uh, m for measure and a for analyze i for improve and c for control as i told you this is it would be for your whole training talking about this five uh, 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 phases, and we need to understand it very well. So the MAC basically it's a set of action uh, that must be followed uh, to move the project from one point to another point, as we mentioned earlier. And it's also it's a group, or we can say it's a set of of procedure of a process uh, that has been to do in order to move. Uh, and increase the performance, performance level, uh, and also in order to take your company, for example, as we mentioned, from uh, two six sigma level to six sigma level. So there is a one fact here we need to uh, to mention: uh, six sigma level. It's not a theoretical stage. It's not something we will talk just by by uh, by tank by our tank. Uh, write it, uh, memorize it, go to the exam, finish. No, it's not a theoretical state, uh, but it's about what we can say like uh, semi analytical and semi accounting project because there is some calculation you will use it during this course. Uh, uh, this is only in the in the yellow. When you go for the green bill, there is many, many uh, types of calculation you will do. It. So again, it is not a theoretical state. No, it's mathematical. It's accounting project. We will count. We will use, uh, uh, for example, we have we have uh, a special calculator for six sigma. You, we will use it uh, tomorrow, inshallah, or day after tomorrow. And there is one effective tool called uh, Minitab. Minitab also is using for uh, for uh, analyzing, for calculating uh, mathematical equation for uh, to give you the number or the level of your six sigma level, whatever is one or six or whatever. So uh, the MAC means there is data you will analyze and process uh, in a certain way that will give you a number okay during this during this uh, five uh, stages define measure 
analyze and improve, you will you will come out with uh, with some numbers. Okay, this number we will enter it into a theoretical equation. As we mentioned, we have like y equal f okay times x. This is one one equation. So this number you will put it in the equation. We will get out. Uh, we will take numbers. We will put it in the six sigma calculation. It will give you the level of your uh, six sigma. So uh, in the defined measure, we will know the company in the defined and the measure here. In these two phases, in these two phases, once you have done these two phases, it will give you the level of six sigma. Uh, currently uh, the company has. So in the, in the define and in the measure, when you define and when you measure the, the impact of your problem, okay, from here, from here, you will know the uh, six sigma level for the company. And you need to complete. After the control, you need to count again the six sigma level and should be from one, uh, for example, two to six. So this is, it has to be jump or five. If they, if they work until five and the management tell you, uh, we are satisfied with this one, you are, uh, uh, thank you for that one, uh, good luck. And we are satisfied with this one. Okay, start in five, no need to go for six. Depends on them. But once you go inside the company, any company and start the project for six sigma, uh, the main target, the main goal for you is to reach six sigma uh, level. So it depends on the companies that you are uh, working on the project. Okay, guys. Uh, now what we have, we have the six sigma tools and technique. Uh, this is uh, we have four technique. We mentioned before, but uh, here again we need to mention. As we said, we have. Uh, calculation tools uh, for the project and we mentioned earlier it's uh, uh, arithmetic tools you will use it during this course or during the training in order to determine the level of your uh, six sigma this is the tools and technique you will be using during this uh, course also we have something called visual uh, analysis tools visual analysis tools like uh, we have many types of these tools. What means visual? Means when you see it in the screen, you will know where is the root cause. This is very effective tool. We have, for example, called a fishbone diagram. The fishbone diagram it's about uh, it's about uh, drawing. When you see it, there is a we call it uh, six M's. Uh, uh, when you see in in the screen immediately you will realize where is the main or where is the root cause of the problem. The root cause will tell you in this point. So you need to focus on work in this point, uh, remove the fit, the defect, uh, control, uh, controlling the error, removing the errors, and restructuring the process and procedure until you get uh, your uh, desired six sigma level. So we have visual analyzing tools, uh, and techniques you will be learning and you will be using uh, during this uh, course. Also, we have a statistical uh, analyzing tools and technique. And this is also used to help you during the course of your project. And as there is many of, uh, of this one, you will use it in the green, not here in the, uh, in the yellow belt. But in the yellow belt, we will prepare you so that you will be ready to enter the green and work uh, immediately on this uh, statistical uh, analysis. Here, just we will give you a hint. We will give you the basics of these tools, and you will go and uh, and drive all the way in the in the green belt. Also, we have the project team uh, management it means uh, we will give you the tool or control how to control or how to reform how to form your uh, your team. Uh, and there is many, uh, many ways to control the team and many ways to control uh, your project. Okay, guys, uh, let's move. Um, uh, I will end with this number, uh, number seven. 
the expected result of lean six sigma. Uh, there is a many uh, many uh, result. You will expect after you applying your uh, six sigma, the main one, the main is improving your customer satisfaction. And if there is any company or any uh, hospital or any hotel or whatever, this is, is not the target for the company, is not your target. Customer satisfaction, you have to close, shut down this company immediately because wasting your time. This is you have to be your first priority, improving your customer satisfaction because this is, it will lead to uh, more sale and more sale, it will lead to uh, more, more profit. So this is the first, uh, first result uh, of uh, Lean Six Sigma. And the second one is reducing uh, product cycle time uh, or production cycle time. As we mentioned, uh, the first benefit, uh, the, uh, sorry, the second benefit, uh, we mentioned it earlier, uh, if you if you sell your product and then there is a defect in your body and the customer came back and he told you this is there is a defect and there is a same issue in this product what you will do you will take it back and rework again so this is a more wasting of time and the more wasting of uh, again uh, uh, reproduction so this, this is the one result of six sigma reducing the cycle time uh, of the production also increasing the uh, productivity. So this is also, is very important. Uh, reducing the, the productivity and increasing, uh, increasing the, uh, I mean, increasing the productivity and reducing the total defect. This is uh, coming, uh, coming together. Uh, because when you, when you increase your productivity, by default, you are reducing uh, the defect and reducing uh, uh, the error inside your uh, product. So this is also uh, one type of the uh, benefit of uh, Lean Sigma or uh, expected result after you, after you are applying the Six Sigma in your uh, product. Also uh, reducing the ideal, uh, ideal business. As we mentioned, uh, should be one product in the line. So there is no any product in the line until there is a uh, customer is waiting for that uh, uh, product. So this is what we mean by reducing the ideal business. There is no any waiting. Uh, uh, there is no any inventory waste. Because once you finish your product, you have to deliver to the customer then. Uh, also determine which steps are necessary, and this is very important. And what we call it, remove the added value from your process and your procedure. Uh, there is a checkpoint, some checkpoint during uh, or uh, in the in the process. Uh, there is many uh, like many approval, and there is many uh, steps to do it. Just you need to remove whatever is not necessary. Just you need to remove whatever is making uh, weight and wasting the time. So that uh, this is uh, we call it one uh, result of applying six sigma. So. Uh, <clears throat> Let's go for the last one, uh, the sixth law of Six Sigma. I will finish with this one, guys. Just we will know it as a, uh, as a subject only. We will not go uh, deeply. Tomorrow we will, we will see. Uh, this, this law I mentioned before. We have a law of uh, mechanism of dealing with the problem. We have Y uh, equal F time X. We will see it in details uh, tomorrow. Uh, number two, we have uh, DBMO, what we call the law of DBMO, which is the defect beer million uh, opportunity. And this number you have to put in your mind. Just memorize this number because this number is very significant. Okay, we have three, uh, number three, or the law uh, number three, we have the data management. Uh, this one and this one complete each other. Uh, we will know the different uh, later on, but we have two type of data, each one divided by six type of data. So we have 12 uh, type of data, uh, 
uh, it is split to uh, two or two cat uh, categories of, of data. We have continuous data and we have a discrete data. We will know the difference between uh, two of them. We have one uh, important law also called uh, central distance uh, or n plus one uh, divided by two. We will know it in details. And uh, uh, last one we have a standard deviation or we call it the variation. This is, this is what I mentioned uh, before, maybe half an hour. This is you have to take care of. Uh, this is guys. Uh, for the first lecture, uh, thank you for your listening. And if you have any uh, any question, I can answer. This is for today. Uh, thank sorry, you. More more than one hour. We we said it is one to one half, but it is more. So tomorrow you have half hour. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so thank you. we will have half each other. Each other. Okay, guys, clear? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.